We're connecting. Good day. We are live in Bala, Ontario, Muskoka, Canada. Quite near the 45th parallel. We're here today to protest the construction of a potential power plant right here on Bala Bay. The home point has been a takeoff. of what's happening in Bala today. All volunteers. It is a little windy today here in Muskoka. Hey, hey, ho, oh, ho, the power plant has got to go. This is the North Channel. And I'm going to do a 360 here shortly to give everyone a perspective of the relationship of the falls to Bala and to Bala Bay and to Lake Muskoka proper. What you see here on your left what you see here on your left is an island. And that's literally the location where this power plant potentially could be built. A power plant that will only, believe it or not, deliver 3.5, 3.5, let me repeat, 3.5 megawatts of power, which is about the same as two windmills. And how many windmills do we have in southwestern Ontario? So I'm going to go back to facing west and give you a look up the Moon River, or down the Moon River, forgive me. That's the moon. We're going to go a little higher. We're currently at 42 meters. Because I want to be able to show you, for example, the key to Bala, the dance hall that used to be Tun Dunn's Pavilion. You can see it there in the distance, that big roof where bands like Blue Rodeo play. So as we start to aim, Farther south, you'll see Bala Bay proper. What most people don't realize is the entire Muskoka watershed, all the way from Algonquin Park and Huntsville and so on, all empties, all empties through Lake Muskoka, right here into Bala Bay. I'm going to tilt down now so you can see what I'm referring to into these falls. It's incredible when you think about it. The safety of this waterway is all determined by these falls. And as some may know, we've had three, count them three, 100 year floods in the last four or five years. 
floods that no one would thought possible, creating millions of dollars in damage. There are three bridges that come into Bala Bay and they all come into this little bay right here. This is the north part. This is the north part of Bala. Where the famous Don's Bakery is. Your screen, bottom left there. What many may not know is right here back in 1837, David Thompson was portaging here, right here. He was discovering this area and it was a famous portage. And this power plant, if built, would destroy that portage. The history, imagine folks, what could be more Canadian than portaging and paddling in a canoe in an historical sense related to this town of Bala. That right there, folks, that right there, folks, is the area where this power plant could be built. Hopefully you can hear What's going on here today? Billion dollar subsidy to a private developer for this dangerous, ill-conceived, poorly planned and unnecessary proposed project. Bala is not a willing host. For over a decade, this community has asked for the Liberal government to show how the proposed hydroelectric generating station could be operated safely, but they refuse. These generating stations are deadly. A nearby station less than one-tenth the size caused the drowning of a 16-year-old boy in 2008. Premier Kathleen Wynne is well aware of this file. Now is the time to issue a stop work order and launch a formal investigation as to how her ministries have allowed this proposed project to proceed with challenged and unapproved plans. This proposed project must be stopped before the dangerous environmental impacts cause irreparable harm to this community, this land, and all Ontario taxpayers. Thank you. What a lot of people don't realize, and in a minute uh, I'm going to be uh, uh, silent so that any media that is recording this can just take a couple of shots without any audio over top of it. But just in advance of that, uh, I think it's important to note that Mitchell Schneer, our engineer, who is the brains and just a phenomenal person who's done so much work to help us delay and hopefully stop this power plant being built has visited something in the order of 30 he has visited 30 other power plants in, in Ontario folks I don't know if you're aware but there is not one power plant in Ontario that is close to public docks or to private docks upstream upstream or downstream this would be the only one we have docks right below the falls privately owned and I think I'll point out to you, if I, if I tilt to the right here, a really good look for you. I'm going to tilt up. I'm going to tilt up. You might be able to see those boats on the right there, uh, just to the, to the right of the train tracks. I'll go up a little bit higher. And you can see that dock right center screen. That dock is host to a Bala regatta for Muskoka generations. A hundred years we've been having this regatta here. My name's John Wright, and my grandchildren have been coming for the last couple of years. My wife was here in this regatta, all our families. It's a very, very, very popular event. This would be dangerous. Think about it. See the proximity of this to this. And this is where the falls would be. This would be the, where the power plant would be. So uh, 
I'm going to cut out now audio-wise. I won't say anything for the next minute or so. So any media that is covering this can use some of this footage. In three, two, one. That's the Moon River, folks. Looking. Okay, so just a couple of messages here as we get close to the end of our broadcast today. Uh, if you're interested in helping us, please sign up for our newsletter at SaveTheBallaFalls.com. That's SaveTheBallaFalls.com. It's easy to do. We ask you to become a member. It's only $10. We need all the help we can get. We need to get a message to our premier Kathleen Wynn. We need to have her come and see what's going on here in Muskoka. So we ask you to call the Premier today. I have a number here for you if you have a pen. The number is 416-325-1941. Send her an email. Tell her you care about this little hamlet of Bala, this tourist attraction that this power plant would destroy. I repeat, that number is 416-325-1941. In addition, you may be aware that Glenn Thibault is the new Ontario Energy Minister. Send an email to Glenn. Glenn, come on up and see our falls. We've been here for over 50 years, my family. And I'm just a volunteer. But we're fighting the good fight thanks to people like Glenn Zavitz and Mitchell. There's a host of people that I should be thanking, but. We certainly thank everybody on the bridge. My official observer, wife Pam. We're getting close. There we go. There we go. 